welcome back to my channel. I'm James, and today we're going to be going into my very popular top new and upcoming releases video series. And this is where I talk about basically all of the new kind of upcoming 4Ks and Blu-rays of movies and TV series, and I basically highlight some of the biggest titles that are announced that are coming up here over the next several weeks. And this is something I've done continually over the last several years, and it's a video series I keep adding to. So if you want to check out after you watch this video some of the previous top new and upcoming videos I've done, those are available in a playlist here on this channel that you can go into and watch all of them through there. But these are something that I know a lot of you look forward to me doing. I try to make them kind of fun and exciting and kind of give little snippets about each one as we're kind of talking about it. So today we've got a lot to cover, so I'm going to dive right into this. Now we're going to be starting off with here on all August 9th and this is coming up here in about a week from now so this is the first one we're gonna be talking about here and there's a bunch of big announcements coming out this week now first one that's coming out on August 9th is gonna be heat on 4k Ultra HD this is one that I've talked about in previous top new and upcoming releases from years ago because it was announced back when it was 20th Century Fox before they were bought by Disney and then it was canceled and then re-announced and then canceled again. And then basically then Disney decided to re-release it because the work was already done by 20th Century Fox. So this is one that I've been excited about for a long time. And I do have that on order. I am hoping to do a 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review. Those are what I exclusively do here on this channel. And there's a bunch of these I'm gonna talk about in this video of things I have planned for reviews. Now, depending on when things show up and then what projects I'm working on depends on when I can get some of these different types of videos out. So because my reviews are so exclusive and take so much more time instead of me just sitting there watching the movie, I have to test the discs, get all the data off of them and do all those comparisons. Then I have to create the videos and do all of that. So it takes a lot more time. So it kind of depends when this shows up for review, when I'll be able to actually dive into that. Now, that one is not sent to me from Disney. I ordered that on my own. It has not shipped yet. So I'm not quite sure when that's going to arrive, but I am curious how that's going to look compared to the Blu-ray that I own. And I talked about that in previous top new and upcomings as well, because I have the previous Blu-ray as well. And so I'm curious how those are going to compare and if it's actually a really nice upgrade once I get down and sit down and get to see those image comparisons side by side. Now, another big title that's coming out on the same day and date on August 9th here is one of my favorite, like, very, very horror sci-fi movies and it's really one of those movies that's taken a long time for me to actually grow to really love the film because at first I was really turned off by it. But I'm excited because they're finally releasing Event Horizon on 4K Ultra HD. Now this is the Blu-ray copy from Shout Scream Factory and this is the collector's edition. I will be doing hopefully an image comparison between the Shout Scream Factory collector's edition Blu-ray release versus the new Paramount Studios 4K Ultra HD release of Event Horizon. And supposedly it's a brand new 4K scan and master and all that, so I'm curious how that's gonna compare to what Scream and Shout Factory previously released because I really did enjoy this release. So that's gonna be one that's gonna be interesting to dive into as well. Now that one was not sent for review either. I actually bought that. Uh, it's on its way here, but again, I don't know when it arrives because of how bad the mail has been the last several years. I really have a hard time telling all of you that, hey, I'm gonna have this out in a week because I have no control on when the mail shows up and when it arrives. And if I'm in the middle of another project, I have to wait till I finish that project to start on the next one. Um, so that's kind of where it kind of limits things. But I am hoping to do that as one of those 4K versus Blu-ray exclusive image comparisons I do here on this channel. Now, as always, with all of these titles that I'm talking about in this top new upcoming video and every video that I review, I always post the links for all the pre-order links and the purchase links down below in the description section right below this video and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So if after you get done watching this, you see any of these titles that you haven't pre-ordered or that you wanna buy if you're watching this after the release dates, make sure to go down there to either the description section, click that arrow down, it opens up, they're all listed out there, or go down to the comment section and they'll be listed down there as a pinned comment. And I've done all the work for all of you and made it nice and easy for you. You click on that, it takes you straight out to Amazon, gives you the same sale prices everywhere at no extra cost to you. Now on August 9th, we're also gonna be getting Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and that's released on 4K and Blu-ray by Paramount Studios, and that's the second one in the new Sonic movie series. I really enjoyed the first one. I took my kids to see it in theaters. 
my wife enjoyed it, my kids enjoyed it. It was a fun time. So we're excited to see how the second one is. We didn't get to go to see the second one in theaters this time. So this will be a first time watch when that arrives. That one's on order as well, but my copy hasn't shipped. So continuing on August 9th, we're getting another kind of catalog title that kind of surprised me that Universal Studios is releasing on 4K. But it was a film I did enjoy and it was very early in The Rock's movie career. We're gonna be getting Doom on 4K Ultra HD. Now, this is my Blu-ray copy and the reason why I'm showing you this was I just kind of grabbed out some of my Blu-rays when I was talking about doing this video to kind of show you I'm gonna be doing an image comparison, hopefully, of Doom as well. Um, it's one of those that I'm planning for, but as always, I can't guarantee based on if it arrives and when it arrives. But um, that is one that I would like to compare to my Blu-ray copies of Doom. I have a couple editions of it on Blu-ray, but uh, this is one of my sealed ones that looks the best, so I figured I'd show this one off. But anyhow, uh, I would like to compare that and do an image comparison, hopefully, to show you the difference between the new 4K release that Universal did of Doom to the previous Blu-ray releases. And it's kind of one of those fun sci-fi films. I'm not going to say it's an award winner are amazing it's definitely not as great in my opinion as like event horizon was but i really thought it was a fun movie i saw it in theaters originally so it is one of those that i was happy to pick up and that i am happy to see that it is released on 4k another title that's coming out on the same date is down to earth and this is a chris rock comedy that's being released by paramount studios on blu-ray and i really liked this chris rock comedy i mean i watched it originally in theaters it was funny um, without being too crass in my opinion it was a family kind of comedy that was just a fun time i remember we kind of all went a bunch of friends of mine and we went to see it in theaters and it was a fun time so i'm excited that that's getting released finally on blu-ray it's never been released on blu-ray anywhere worldwide so this is the first time ever by paramount studios on that and that comes out on that same date we're also getting domestic disturbance by paramount studios on blu-ray another one that in the u.s is one of the first times it's ever been released on blu-ray in the u.s now there was some limited run blu-rays in some other countries that went out of print but this is actually the official paramount release of domestic disturbance it's a good kind of like psychological thriller and so it's one of those that it's nice to see that another catalog title from paramount who always does a great job releasing catalog titles and and that's coming out on Blu-ray as well. And then rounding out August 9th with kind of the highlights, there are some smaller studios that are releasing some smaller pictures and things like that, but I always try to just give the highlights of some of the big titles that are coming out on each date. Well, another big one is the next Paramount Presents title called Back to the Beach. And it's one of those classic kind of musical, kind of just comedy movies that it was a lot of fun. I remember watching it on VHS back in the day. My mom liked it and would rent it and I remember watching it. So, and that's gonna be Paramount Presents title number 34 in their line so that one's coming out on that day as well now if you're new to the channel make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me I put a lot of hard work and time into all of this content I create here on my YouTube channel as all of you know that watch these videos if you enjoy all of this content and you really want me to keep continuing to create all this the only way I can always do this is through all of your support so make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And if you really enjoy all the hard work, you can also give a super thanks through the super thanks button down below. And it looks just like that. It's basically just like a tip. When you click on that, it allows you to give a donation of any amount to this channel that goes right back into the creation of these videos. That's how I pay for the software, the cameras, the microphones, the time, the editing, and all the content that goes into these. So I do appreciate all of your love and support. Let's get to the next date. Now coming up on August 16th now, moving ahead a little bit here, we're going to be getting Child's Play 1, 2, and 3 on 4K Ultra HD from Scream slash Shout Factory. Now this is a title I did request from them for review, but my request was kind of behind everybody's. I guess I didn't get the email when I should have, so my request kind of came in late. Um, I don't know why I didn't get the email originally. but. It's just what happens in the industry. Sometimes things get delayed. Well, I did put a request in to get this for review for all of you. So that way I can do a 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison of both one, two, and three. Um, I have not found out if they had any copies left to actually send to me after what was initially sent out for review. So I'm not sure if that's gonna arrive for review or not. I do hope it is, and I did request it and do the best I could for all of you. But that is coming out, all three of those, on August 16th. Now, another title on the same day and date that I'm very excited for is Red Dawn. I really enjoy that film. 
and it is being released on 4K Ultra HD with a brand new 4K scan and master restoration. It's supposed to look great, haven't seen it yet, but that is one that I actually do have on the way that I am planning on doing a 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison exclusively here on my YouTube channel. And that's gonna be another big exclusive review that you're only gonna find here on my channel. So when I get that in, I'm gonna start working on and doing my analysis, testing, and then doing all those image comparisons on that one. That's a film that I've always really enjoyed. So I'm really, really hoping that Shout Factory does a good job with that and doesn't mess it up. Now, usually Shout Factory does a decent job, but you never know. Sometimes I can say that and I can say, hey, a studio does an amazing job, they'll release one. And just like Paramount, I've had numerous of Paramounts that usually they do a decent job. And then I've had some that have been absolutely horrendous. But anyhow, there's been numerous other ones I've reviewed that haven't been so great from Paramount as well. So as far as this one goes though, I am excited about Red Dawn and that is coming out on the same day and date. Now, a little bit of a wonky title. We are getting Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. And I like how the kind of like title of that movie rhymed. And it was kind of a funny, fun, kind of just comedy. And it was kind of zany and out there. And it was a fun time. Well, Lionsgate is going back to a lot of their catalog titles. And I talked about this a while ago. And basically they're releasing them on 4K. So this is their next catalog title that's gonna be released on 4K Ultra HD. Now, some of their catalog titles on 4K Ultra HD have not had like HDR10 or Dolby Vision. They've either had standard HDR or some of them have even been just native 4Ks without HDR. And there are some of those like The Kid and things like that that I really wanna do some reviews on here. Now I haven't gotten The Kid yet to test out and things like that, but those are titles that I do think are a nice idea that they're releasing them. I just really do hope when I get to do the testing and reviews on those that they do have some sort of HDR on them. Though some native 4Ks can look drastically still better than even the standard SDR Blu-rays. I have done some of those from Kino Lorber that did look way better than the Blu-rays anyway. So it could be done well if it's done correctly on 4K, but I don't know because I don't have those yet. But that's another 4K Ultra HD that I'm curious how that one's gonna turn out. Now, talking about some of my classic TV series reviews. Now, there's some of these classic TV series that I'm gonna be talking about some reviews here later on in this video, but I did wanna touch on a big one that I've been working on for the last several weeks. I announced this a couple of weeks ago that I'm gonna be doing an exclusive for my Collector's VIP Club membership the Virginian remastered Blu-ray TV series release. And this is a first worldwide. And you're only ever gonna find that review here exclusively on my Collector's VIP Club membership. So if you have not joined my Collector's VIP Club membership yet, you're really missing out on some great exclusive content. And that's where I release exclusive videos about a lot of these classic remastered TV series that nobody else wants to dive into because they're very expensive to test out, to make sure they work, to see if they work. And it takes a lot of time and work to put behind every one of these videos. And that's what I did with the $6 million man review. I compared that to the numerous releases around the world and did image comparisons on that. And that one's available right now in my Collector's VIP Club membership that if you want to join that, you'll be able to get access to that as well as all the other perks and watch that right now. But with the Virginian, I have been working on that one and it is coming out here in the near future. Once I get done doing all my analysis, pulling the screenshots and doing all that and finishing it up, and that one will be available here on my Collector's VIP Club membership as well. So every few weeks, there will always be something new and exciting coming out in that. And later on in this video, I'm gonna to touch on something that I'm planning on doing another big exclusive in my Collector's VIP Club membership. So stick around for some more information about some other big classic TV series. Now, if you want to join my Collector's VIP Club membership, there's always a link up above as well as below every video, there's a join button. And on the main page of my YouTube channel, there's a join button. When you click on that, there's a couple different membership options you can choose from. And it basically costs you less than the price of a cup of coffee each month to get all the access to all the exclusive content and all the hard work I put behind all these videos. So that is a way that you can support this channel as well, but it's very easy and simple to join that. So that way you get access to all of that content. Now, on August 23rd, we're getting another classic restoration and remaster from Kino Lorber. Now, as most of you know that have followed my channel for a while now, I announced on the community section here on my YouTube channel that I just now recently started working with Kino Lorber directly that I will be getting in for review early a lot of upcoming titles. Well, another release that they're releasing is Paths of Glory. And this is a really great kind of war film showing like 
the cause and effect of the mental capacity of what war does to leaders and those under the leaders and things like that. And it's a really, really great classic movie. Well, that's getting a new 4K Ultra HD release from Kino Lorber on August 23rd. I'm extremely excited about that one. As most of you know, I love war films. Same day, we're getting Dog Soldiers, finally, on 4K Ultra HD from Scream and Shout Factory. Now that's another title that Scream and Shout Factory are supposedly sending me early for review. So I should have that early for review way before release date to do all of my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons. And that's something that I have the previous Blu-ray of and I really enjoyed the film. So I already know I like the film. I'm just curious how much of an upgrade, how much better it looks or worse or how it's gonna look overall. But that is one that I'm excited to dive into and I should have that one hopefully early in advance of the release state to get that review out for all of you as well. Continuing August 23rd, we're also getting Dragons Forever on 4K Ultra HD and that's from 88 Films and that's one of their basically newer US releases that's now it's a worldwide so you can get it everywhere worldwide but like I said all those links I will put down below so no matter where you live worldwide any of those links I post down below from Amazon ship worldwide and will get you each of these releases no matter where you live worldwide. When you click through that description section or through the pinned comments, they do ship anywhere worldwide. Another title on August 23rd from 88 Films is Drive on 4K Ultra HD. Now, this is not the Drive that I previously did a review on that's available on the YouTube channel now from Second Sight. And I did that review with an unboxing and 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison. That if you haven't checked out that review, that was a really fun release and was a really, really nice looking 4K. Well, this is Drive, another Drive, not the same movie. Um, that's more kind of like an action comedy is what it is. And I have it on Blu-ray from MVD. Now, I don't know if that one's going to be coming in for review or not. Um, there's a lot of things coming in at that same time. Um, that was one initially I was hoping to do a 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison on, but MVD's been having some issues lately for some reason. Something's up, I don't know what it is, but I haven't been getting a response on if that's coming for review, if that's not. I'm not really quite sure what's going on with that. I'll update all of you later on once I can find out what's going on with that. But um, I've contacted them numerous times and I've been working with them for years and never had any issues until about the last month or so. Something's up, I don't know what it is, um, but Basically, I haven't gotten a response, so. Now, talking about some classic TV releases here. It seems like they always kind of end up at the end of every of these top new and upcoming releases videos. So, as most of you know, if you've watched a lot of these, a lot of the times the classic TV series ends up being at the end. Well, there is a new release of Outer Limits, season one and two, remastered on Blu-ray by Kino Lorber. Now, a lot of you might say, hey, I remember this came out a year or two ago, and you were right about that. I did talk about it. I did kind of a mini review back on a previous like haul and upcoming new releases. I talked about it a couple of times, actually. Well, I own the release originally by Kino Lorber of season one and season two on Blu-ray. Well, these went out of print, and basically Kino Lorber didn't have any more of them. A lot of people were really upset because they missed out on these and said, hey, we never got our copies. We didn't buy it initially. They waited, I guess, for a sale that never came. They sold out, and Kino Lorber didn't have any more of them. Well, this is another reprinting. So I basically understand this is they did a new reprint of these. Same content, same discs, everything's the same. It's just a reprint of them now because they sold so well and sold out and went out of print before. So I will tell you, I'll put those links down below for you that if you missed out on these initially, you're gonna to wanna to pick them up while they're available because these are not going to be available for very long is my understanding. Same thing as what they did initially, it's only a limited print for so long is my understanding where once they sell out, they sell out again. And I don't know if they'll ever print them a third time. So if this is something you're interested in getting that you missed out on initially, they look really good. Kino Lorber did a great job with it. And it's a great classic TV series. And it's one of those kind of like anthology series where it's constantly a different story, different characters that each night you never know what to expect from it. And it's a fun kind of sci-fi series that I've always really enjoyed. But that's coming back in print on August 23rd. So I'll put that link down below so if you did miss out on these and you want to pick them up, it's down there for you to click on it and order your copy. Now, moving ahead to August 30th, we are getting The Bionic Woman, the complete remastered TV series on Blu-ray from Shout Factory. Now, 
As most of you know that I referenced earlier in this review, I previously did as a VIP members exclusive video on this channel, the complete comparison of the $6 million man on Blu-ray from Shout Factory. Well, that is another one that I am planning for doing a collector's VIP club members exclusive video here on this YouTube channel. And I'll do all my analysis on it, dive into it, tell you how it looks, go through it, talk to you about it. Now I have the previous Blu-ray release, as most of you know that I've followed this channel a while. I have the previous Blu-ray release from Germany. Now that one was kind of a slight SD upscale, so it's not gonna be hard to beat that if it's a full remaster, but basically this Bionic Woman Complete TV Series remastered on Blu-ray, that is one that I am planning to do hopefully here because it was requested by my VIP club members. So when you join that, you do get a lot more flexibility because I really listen to what my VIP club members are wanting. That was not sent for review. I ordered that full price, paid for it, and that's being sent. So that's something that I'm doing because my VIP club members requested it and we're really excited for it. So that's another big announcement that'll be coming out here soon soon here in the future. Once I get that in and get done testing it, basically we've got the Virginian coming out next first for my VIP club members. Then after that, I'll be working on the Bionic Woman for my VIP club members. So if you have not joined the Collector's VIP club membership, now is the time to do it. You are missing out on some big content. There is a lot of exclusive content that's only gonna be released in there because of how expensive those sets are and how much time and work go behind them. That is why they're released in that club. That's the only way I can afford to create those complete TV series analysis and reviews that I do. They're not as easy and not as simple and short as doing like a movie is even. Even though a movie might take me anywhere between three to five days to complete, the TV series take me weeks to go through those and dive through and test them. So that's why those are being released in that collector's VIP club membership. That's the only way I could feasibly afford to keep doing those types of reviews. And it's been really well accepted. I mean, I've been blown away by the support. Uh, the amount of people that have joined that membership and keep joining, it is a really exciting thing to see how much of you enjoy and love the hard work I do on those reviews. So that's a little hidden tidbit of something exciting that's coming out in that VIP club membership as well. Now, continuing on August 30th, we're also getting 1883, a Yellowstone origin story. And this is basically a Western TV series. I am a sucker for Western TV series with Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, um, basically even Tom Hanks appears in it. There's a bunch of like different actors in it. I haven't gotten to watch it yet, so I'm not gonna tell you if I love it or I hate it, but when it's a Western TV series, I am really a sucker for a lot of those. So I'm excited to see how that turns out once I get to watch it. Um, and hopefully it will be something that's good and then they continue on with the multiple seasons afterwards but that's coming out on August 30th we're also getting another blu-ray release and by the way 1883 was on blu-ray as well but um, we're also getting another blu-ray release of a walk in the woods and that's from shout select now this movie is one of those that I really really enjoyed it is one of those Robert Redford just you really enjoy the character it's a character drama that we don't get very many of anymore where you really enjoyed the basically growing arc of the characters through this journey that they go on a walk through the woods on a trek to basically um, do something that they haven't done that basically it elaborates on their experiences and things like that and you really feel like you fall in love with a lot of the characters and experiences they have. So that's a really, really great release that I'm excited to see on Blu-ray. I do have that one on order as well. Um, so that one should be coming in. So there's a lot of exciting titles coming out that I am just really excited about. And on the next top new and upcoming releases, I have some huge announcements to go through as well. But I try to keep these not too long because if they get too long, then there's too many titles and too many links. And then it takes me nine years to make all the links and make sure everything's down below. But I did post everything that I talked about here in this top new and upcoming releases, like I said, in the description section and as a pinned comment below. If you enjoyed Enjoy all this content make sure to give a super thanks down below and join the collectors VIP club membership that way you don't miss out on any of that classic TV series goodness because man there is some exciting stuff I have planned that I constantly keep announcing here on this YouTube channel 
Make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below as well. Let me know what of these titles you're excited for and what of these titles you're hoping that I do my reviews on. Any of my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray or Blu-ray versus Blu-ray. Make sure to comment in the comment section below and let me know so that way I know what of these you're excited about, what of these you're wanting to pre-order, any of that stuff below. Start that conversation down below. I had a fun time today and as always, I hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.